Well, now that you see it running, and it's running pretty slowly and pretty consistently, I suppose you want to know how I did it. Well, let's take a look. See if I can pull this off here. And there you have it. We're using the motor from out of the tape deck that I showed you before. And I have three 12 volt bulbs uh, that are giving resistance to it. And we're using the shaft and the mounting brackets from the motor out of that projector. And they're mounted uh, to the base. And then we drilled this bracket that holds the motor uh, from the tape deck to the mounting brackets, which all, all of these things have uh, brass bearings in them. And uh, we glued two, bear, uh, two pulleys together to get a larger one and uh, to slow it down. And I think that's pretty good. Um, if I made it in undershot uh, instead of an overshot, then running really fast would be no problem. Overshot ones tend to run slower than undershot water wheels. But I'm happy with this and uh, it's going to take a little doing to figure out exactly how to uh, make it look like there's real water coming off of there. But that's part of the fun of it. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, I have this piece of styrofoam here which is uh, the framework for the waterway uh, that's going to come off of here, coming off of the mountain and so forth. So I think I'm going to uh, set my building up right on that piece of foam, drill a hole down through the um, layout and uh, run my wire down through there and I'll have a switch to turn it on and off and I'll actually do all my landscaping right on this little piece before I put it in place. It's going to have a stone wall along these edges here and I'm planning on stone wall along this the way going of the river going off over into there that will be a, a dummy well not a dummy but I'll open that up so that the water will actually flow down underneath the tracks there. Uh, I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that yet. Got to get this block out of the way that don't belong there. But yeah, that's where we're headed with it anyway. So, uh, but I'm calling this part a success and I'm very glad to have gotten it to this point. So until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. We got water running our mill. Bye now.